What's up guys, how's it going? Uh, Kimo here. <clears throat> and I just got back from pressure washing a little while ago. As you can see, I've been uh, running this kind of setup here with the pressure washer in the back of the truck and uh, hose reel and whatnot. Um, my intention is to buy another hose reel to put the garden hose on so that it's neater like that so I don't have to coil it up manually because that has saved me a lot of time. I did a pressure wash job yesterday after school and I just did one today. I did concrete wash today and then tomorrow at this house I'm doing a house wash. So I need to go, because like, I'm out of chlorine, so I need to go to Pinch a Penny and exchange that. As you can see, oops, as you can see this one's empty. But basically what I do and um, uh, let's see where I start. Okay, so when I'm downstreaming, which when you're downstreaming, that means you're putting chlorine or soap in after the pump. Here's your water input. This is the high pressure side. That's your downstream injector right there. Sorry about the shakiness. Um, but that's your downstream injector right there. And it's important that you're running this chemical, especially bleach, after the pump. Because you'll burn up your pump running the bleach through it. So this siphons after the pump. And this is that whip hose that I was talking about. And here's the siphon hose. And as you can see, I just have a piece of irrigation pipe over it to keep it down in the bottom of the bucket. And I pour these jugs here into this five gallon bucket here, which I uh, siphon out of because that allows me to uh, siphon or get all the chlorine out of it versus sticking the, the, or get the siphon line just right into that bucket or to that jug. Because of the shape of the bottom, I can't get all the chlorine out of it, so it's easier just to dump it into there. Um, see so yeah, how there's a better view of the downstream injector. There's one on the pump right uh, there. Sorry about that guys. Um, so anyways, um, so that's the downstream injector. That's how I uh, apply my soap. And then I use the black soap tip to uh, actually spray the soap or the chlorine onto my surfaces. Um, and somewhere in my garage I have a second story nozzle on my J-Rod set of nozzles, which I'll show you all um, later. Um, but I just got an order from PowerWash.com. I ordered some fittings. Came in this box here. Also ordered a bottle of... Um, oil for my uh, pressure washer pump because I need to change the oil on that. Sorry about that guys, someone was walking by. Um, so here's the J-Rod nozzle set. Basically it's four quick connects welded together. You buy these, I, I didn't make this myself, but um, this is my second story nozzle soap nozzle. Basically it goes on the end of my uh, spray gun and allows me to shoot up to second stories of houses as part of soft washing. And uh, this is a 15 degree nozzle here. Not exactly sized for four gallons a minute <clears throat> so I need to actually get a different one but Anyway, so as I was saying, I need to change the oil in my um, pump. Actually, the engine needs an oil change also. It hasn't had it. The oil that's in the engine is what I put in it when I first built the pressure washer. And it's probably got about 50 to 60 hours on it now. So I need to change that. Um, so that's that. And I have oil for the engine. I'll do that at some point. But I ordered the uh, AR crankcase oil for the pump. So that is an AR four gallon per minute pump. I have no complaints about it so far. It does what it needs to do. Um, so anyway, so I was going to show you all what I got from PowerWash.com. So these are quarter inch quick connects, quarter inch male thread, quarter inch there, and these are three eighths quick connects.
go on the end of my guns because um, I have two giant brand spray guns. Um, the light isn't the greatest here right now. But uh, basically, on both of my spray guns, I have female quick connects on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change those out and put male quick connects on them. Because the end of my ball valve has a female quick connect on it. So what I've been doing is because these are, since the end of my ball valve has a female and these have female, I had a, I made a uh, coupler up. So it has two male 3 eighths on it. So basically I've been using that and that's just unnecessary. So I, uh, what I've done is I got these stainless steel fittings that I'm going to put in the end of my guns. Then I'll be able to just hook the ball valve right to it and not need a uh, special adapter. Then these are quarter inch male quick connects, if it'll focus. You're, you get the point, but it's a female thread. And basically what I'm going to do is I have on this gun here, you can sort of see it down there, but there's um, this is a four foot lance, and it's just the um, light spray gun, which for the surface edger is not very suitable um, because this is... This uh, kind of flexes. So I ordered another one of those uh, 36 inch insulated lances, which is, actually I can pull this one out. So basically I ordered another one of these. So this is the lance here. And I ordered another one of these. And basically I'm gonna have two guns with quick connect fittings here so that I can uh, sw swap between having a surface edger or just rinsing with one of these. I'll have two lances, one with the surface edger, one for rinsing because the surface edger just stays on a lance. And then I have a four foot uh, wand so I can use that for washing houses and I also have a six foot wand. So that's uh, basically my plan for the uh, spray gun situation and then I'll, I'll just be able to have two handles and the other plus is that I can put a uh, I can put a uh, spray nozzle right in the end of this if I just want to use the handle to uh, spray soap or chlorine on or something um, but the idea is that I just have two spray guns interchangeable between four lances so that's going to work out great for me um, it was cheaper than buying another spray gun and then setting it up just for that. So, it's also nice to be able to switch between different lances if you don't need as long of a lance, because sometimes it can be kind of awkward if it's a tighter area or whatever. Um, so that's that. Um, and then I also, so I have three, three quick connects there that are going to go on this part of the lance right here. Because one of these, um, one of these actually, will go right here, and then I can quick connect and change out easily. Um, but this one is for the end of the lance because the lance just comes with no fittings on it. It's just the lance itself. So I'm gonna put this on the end where I'll put the nozzle, and then this will be on the other end where I connect it to the spray gun. So that's that. Um, I also did get a little toolbox from Harbor Freight to keep some fittings and extra O-rings. You always want to keep lots of uh, always want to keep lots of O-rings with you because here I'll just open this. Um, you want to keep O-rings with you. I need to get more actually, but um, O-rings in case your hoses start leaking or whatever, but. Anyways, guys, um, it is dinner time for me, but I will uh, continue to do these little pressure washing videos for you all so you can just kind of keep up with what I'm up to. And I hope to do a little video here soon of like the entire pressure washing process of bleaching, surface cleaning, rinsing, all that sort of stuff, little clips. So I'll try and do that here soon. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you all some goodies I got from PowerWash.com. 
and just show you my setup right now. So anyways, I will talk to you all later.